Thanks for visiting my channel at Programming with Sajal. In this lecture, I am going to tell about how we can execute dynamic stored procedure using Angular and .NET, okay, me Java. So we are basically going to pass on different different type of dynamic uh, parameters in our stored procedure. At first, we are going to basically see the data flow in which I am going to uh, send my data from my client to our server. This is our client application. It can be a web browser, it can be any other client machine, like it can be a mobile application. I'm going to send in user like Steven, it can be passed like 1 to 3 to the server. And, the ser and from the server, I'm going to pass the data to the database. And I'm going to st uh, execute a stored procedure in which uh, I'm going to take this as an input. And in turn, I'm going to do some operation and I'm going to print a message if the user is registered or not. Or you're going to show if uh, the operation is successful or not in JSON format. And in turn, it is going to send back the data from our server to our client machine. So now I'm going to demonstrate how we can basically send the data from our client application that is our angular application and our server basically our dotnet core application so we head back to our so this application i made login component dot html as you can see this uh, this is a basically a, a template driven form that i made uh, it is taking user name as input, username, and it's going to it is going to take password, and I per perform some validation operation in here, like if the user has entered this uh, since it is a required field validator I've used, so uh, it is going to check if a user has really entered the value in it or not. Similarly, in password also, I'm going to check if a user has enter the password or not and this is our submit method this is our submit button I'm going to submit this on on submit function will be executed when the form is basically submitted so in turn it calls this the service and it pass, passes this data user and pass through this service As you can see, this is basically posting this data, user and pass, into this API. Sending this data as a body parameter. So if we head back to our .NET Core application, you can see this particular method, API slash URL slash login user is the basically the controller is the route in which it is pointing to so it is accepting this data as parameter and after that uh, it is sending this particular data into this particular function data manager I made this particular class manage.cs here it is accepting the name of the SQL that we want to pass and we can it is accepting the SQL parameter that which is in JSON format so I am creating a connection string in here and I am executing a SQL command and I so whatever parameter that we pass from into this function it is going to accept it uh, in the stored procedure as input and then after that uh, we are filling it into a data adapter and we are basically converting it to a JSON string which we are going to return return to our client so I'm going to show you uh, how now I'm going to show you the stored procedure this is the stored procedure which basically got executed when we basically pass on the data 
is accepting data as JSON. Use Open JSON to parse the JSON from a JSON object, and after parsing it, we, go, uh, we save it in a variable, and we check if that particular this employee, he, if his name is equal to this particular variable, then if it is true, then the user will be locked into our system. If it is not, then user not will not be locked in. And using for JSON path, we basically return the word data as in JSON format. So when we this is my postman it is used to check API. I have passed this data. When we say, uh, click send, then it will return if the user is not logged in. For, for more information, you can check the link description below. Thank you.